I got here yesterday. Um, honestly, the journey here wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Like, my flight was an hour. I think my flight to Tokyo is going to be like five hours. I leave today at 5 p.m. I've just noticed that my sleep has been real crap. And I started looking into insomnia, and I realized, I'm like, do I have chronic insomnia? Because I always thought insomnia was like, oh, you can't go to sleep, or it's hard for you to go to sleep, or you don't really get good sleep. And I was always like, oh, I just have trouble like going back to sleep when I wake up. I've been sleeping two hours the past three, maybe three, four hours the past four nights. He ordered delivery. Ha ha ha, it's gonna be simple. For now, we're gonna maybe watch a little YouTube and then head to a cafe, because if I can get like an hour or two of work in, let's go. Okay. We went to a cafe nearby. It's really, really close. It's like a three minute walk, and the review say it's a really good place to do work. So I'm gonna go there, get some work in. But there is something to be said about being in countries where, because of you being a foreigner, people stare and when I'm in that kind of environment I just learn to stare back and maybe it's the growing up in an inner city for me I don't like when people stare at me so sometimes you want to sometimes you want to stare back in order to kind of be like I'm not afraid but then it also is kind of a confidence builder as well because I don't know in the US I don't really stare back at people that stare at me in public because it makes me uncomfortable this place looks cute Ooh, coffee is that what I was looking for? Oh, look at all that. But I think that's the cafe I want to go to over there. Also bought some espresso to bring back because why not bring some coffee back from Vietnam? something to be said about traveling 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 and I'm tired I mean I got good rest but I also am so tired and I think I'm really at I keep saying travel fatigue but I'm like how many more days of deciding what I need to do to like travel I see the way to Tokyo I want to thrift but damn do I even have any more fucking room in my bags if I see anything that I like probably not I'm tired Someone help me. It's almost time to leave. I'm tired of being eaten. Boy, I'm going to get a lot of money. 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 So I spent five minutes looking at the machine and I purchased this and I it got me in. I honestly don't know what it's like to be in a country where you literally don't understand the language. And I don't know, I guess there's just more English in Thailand, the public transit. Every country's different, but 
kind of feel similarly to how I felt in South Korea, where I was like, uh, someone tell me where to go. But luckily, this card works. And as long as I follow the right signs, so we are here and we're going there. The door on the right side will open. food that I see because I don't feel like searching <laughs> and I want to be somewhere warm it's a lot colder than I thought so let's do it we're gonna do that okay I believe that's the one Side of my face is like pulsating. Check in at noon. You can hang out in the lounge area. You can't check into the hotel until 3. So I won't be able to really, really sleep until 3 p.m. Necessarily need to get to, you know what I mean? I would totally try to force myself to sleep more, but I'm also worried that if I just stay in, I'm gonna wake up at like 2 a.m. and not be able to go back to sleep. So I'm going to get some food and talk about what this capsule hotel is like so far. Yeah, let's walk around the neighborhood a little. I can say already love the Capsule Hotel. I think it's one of the most interesting travel experiences I've had of this trip. Ooh, ramen. 
I saw this place earlier and it looks really good. So we're in a beauty store. I definitely want to get some beauty items before I leave, but I kind of just want to browse and see what they have here. I like that they have lime at 9%. I knew what Cheers was. Ooh. Slept a little. I decided to sleep more. I'm very much into this neighborhood and I think it's very cute. Deals in that store weren't that bad. Um, they definitely had some cute stuff, and I was really surprised by the range of media items that they had. Um, there was a pair of pants there where I was like, oh, these are cute, but for 25 bucks, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Face mask for 99 cents. I'm like, why not? I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get a few cheap things just to surprises. Why not? So we just got some ramen for about like seven or eight bucks. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm so ready for this. The food there was so good, like, I definitely smashed that bowl. <sighs> wow. There's a martial arts gym! <gasps> oh my god. Already being here, like, it's just so wild how you can go to a place you never thought of visiting and suddenly you're like, this is a vibe. Like, I like it. Also, on the way here, someone from Grindr noticed that I was lost. <laughs> when you're solo traveling, you win some and you lose some. I just tried to go to a snack bar. Just learned about them on Reddit. They were def it was definitely only old people in there. So, yeah, no problem. And I don't think it was like a racism thing. I think it was just literally only old people. Yeah, I should go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the I'm honestly so tired. It probably doesn't even matter. Like, it literally doesn't matter. But, um, I was just curious. I was just curious. And it never hurts to go in as long as no one beats you up and no one beat me up. They were just like... And then they asked me to leave. Wow. I 
have no idea what any of these signs mean. It really is like being a baby again. Thank you.